Hi, I'm Teresa and I'm with Georgetown Physical Therapy. Today I'd like to show you another pelvic self-leveling technique. Um, always consult with your physical therapist first to see if this is an exercise that's appropriate for you. Um, but when I take a look at Heather's uh, iliac crest or the top of her pelvic bones, I notice that there is a rotation and that this side is a bit higher. So you can check this yourself by sitting on a bench or on your bed. Ideally, your feet touch the floor. And so she's going to first put up her right leg. And, um, and you see that she's got perfect level of this side. And then on this side, this side is slightly higher. That's how we know that this side of her pelvis is off, and it's rotated forward, and it's causing this to, to um, be tighter. And she might feel more tension across uh, her piriformis or the back side of her, her buttocks region. So how we correct this, and, and this is called a simple piriformis stretch, is she's going to sit up very tall. It's like she's got a rod going through her back. And she's going to take this hand and she's going to put it on her knee gently. And as she um, is keeping her back very straight, she's going to come up and over this hip joint. So she's going to go straight forward. So her sternum is, if this was a clock, this would be 12 o'clock. So she's going to come forward until she feels a gentle stretch. She should have no more discomfort than a 4 to a 5 out of 10 discomfort. And I'm not talking pain, it's just a stretchy kind of discomfort. I don't want any more than that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do about four deep yoga breaths. And with each breath, you should sort of feel yourself be able to release and go down a little bit more. If you can't and your pelvis is very stuck, that's okay too. Everybody has a different level of flexibility. Okay, and so she's done about four deep breaths, and she's gone straight forward. Now I'm going to have her back off while she keeps that perfect, beautiful, straight posture. And now she's going to turn her sternum or her breastbone towards her kneecap. And so that would be roughly about the 11 o'clock position. And she's going to do the same thing as she's, but now as she leans forward, she's going to be a little bit more onto her left sits bone. She previously was equally aligned on both sits bones. And she's going to do the same thing. She's going to keep her back perfectly straight. She's coming up and over her hip socket. Her chest is coming towards her kneecap. And she's going to do four deep yoga breaths. Hopefully with each breath she's gaining a little more motion coming closer to her kneecap. And she's gaining a lot more stretch while she's um, moving her pelvic bones back into place. Now I just want to demonstrate how not to do this. Is um, We would not want this, the back to be rounded at all. All that we're achieving here is a, a stretch through the low back, but we're not getting a, a stretch into the hip socket and across the back of the, of the the buttocks region. It's extremely important to keep the back straight and feel that pressure. You feel a pressure right mm -hmm. here? But it's a comfortable pressure. All right? And then go back and put the leg down. You may need to repeat this up to three times. And with each time, it takes some patience and some time to do the breath work, but that's how we get the rotation. It's much better. Yeah, so now she's perfectly level. We know she's level because both sides come down equally. And that's how we level the pelvis at home. Thanks for watching my video. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, our phone number is 512-887-4544. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks.